Radar plotting. This is going to be part three of my series on radar plotting. The objective of this video is to illustrate and explain collapsed radar plotting triangles, demonstrate and explain if a contact changes course, demonstrate and explain if a contact changes speed, and demonstrate and explain how own ship can alter course and speed. In this slide, I like to call these collapsed triangles or flat triangles. They still have all three legs of the triangle in them. In target A, we have our true course and our true speed, our E to R. We have relative motion, we have R and M, and we have the contacts, true course and true speed, E to M. We're heading north and the contact is heading south. In contact B, we have our E to R, our true course and our true speed. We still have relative motion, and we have the contact true course and speed. We and the contact are both going in the same direction, but since we are going faster than them, we will be overtaking them. Contact C is not necessarily a flat triangle because I didn't put our course and speed in. I didn't put the E in there. What I want to show in this example is R and M run right through the middle of the plotting sheet. This is called a collision. Under rule 7D of the navigation rules, it states that if you have a constant bearing and the range gets closer, you're going to have a collision. So this is something we're going to have to maneuver against since the speed change will not help. Contact D is a collapsed triangle. Here we have our E to R, we have R and M, and we have E to M. Here we're going slower than the contact, so this time the contact will be overtaking us. So far in our plotting, our own ship is the one that's been changing course or changing speed. What happens if the contact changes course or changes speed? So in this example here, contact alters course to 310, MX is 5 nautical miles, what would be the new CPA and bearing? In this slide, I'd like to demonstrate and explain what happens if the contact changes course. And the contact would like to change course when it gets five nautical miles away from this. So that's MX. Presently, the contact is going westerly. So the contact wants to change course from a westerly course and change course to 310 degrees. We're going to get that 310 degrees and we're going to parallel to E and draw that 310 degree course change. Changing course, we would normally stab E and we would swing R to starboard. This time the contact is changing course. So we're going to stab E and swing M to starboard until it touches that 310 degree course change. And this is going to be labeled M prime. Since the contact changed course, it changes relative motion. The old relative motion was R00 to M06. The new one's going to be R00 to M prime. Then we can parallel that down to MX. And we can get a new CPA and a bearing. So looks like the new CPA is going to be just under four miles bearing three four zero.
contact alter speed. Contact alter speed to 12 knots, MX is five miles. What would be the new CPA and bearing of CPA? In this slide, I'd like to demonstrate and explain what happens if the contact changes speed. MX is still gonna be at five nautical miles. So this time the contact wants to change speed to 12 knots. We'll find 12 knots on the 12 mile rain scale and we're gonna parallel it over to the E to M of the triangle. And this 12 knot location is gonna be labeled M prime. If the contact slows down, they change relative motion. The old relative motion was R00 to M06. The new relative motion is gonna be R00 to M prime. Then we're gonna parallel that to MX. And we can get a new CPA and bearing of CPA. CPA is going to be just a little over one mile, bearing three zero zero degrees. On ship alters course and speed. Alter to a new course and speed in order to maintain a required CPA. So here's our basic triangle. This is my new relative motion line that I paralleled up from MX at my required CPA. I want to alter course and speed. Let's say I can't do a course change that I originally wanted to do because there's shoal areas over here, there's rocks over here, there's traffic, there's a fishing fleet over here, there's anchored vessels over here. So I want to alter course and speed in order to maintain my required CPA. There's two ways we can do this. We can find a new course, then find out what speed I need to also slow down to, or I can find a speed and then find out what course I also need to alter to at the same time. So basically, we can alter course and speed anywhere in this area, anywhere in this area. I can find a speed change first, then find my course, or I can find my course, then find my speed change. I would like to find a course, then find out what new speed I would need to come to. I've decided to alter course to zero, three, zero degrees. This falls within this area, that's okay, so I'm altering course to zero, three, zero degrees. In order to find a new speed I also need to come to in order to maintain my new CPA, it's going to be at the intersection where the 0, 3, 0 degree course change and the new relative motion line intersect. I need to come to this speed. So I'll come to this course and this speed, and it's going to be about 0, 3, 0 degrees at 16 knots. If I alter to that course and slow to that speed, I will maintain my required CPA. So in this short video, we illustrate and explain the collapse radar plotting triangles, demonstrate and explain if a contact changes course, demonstrated and explained if the contact changes speed, and demonstrate it and explain how own ship can alter course and speed.